Black. I'm Isabel Herman. And I'm Josiah Edwards. Today is Friday, October 1st, and we're here with your morning announcement. Calling all seniors. October 10th is the deadline to take your senior portrait. If you have any questions, talk to Miss Lobby in room HL5 or check out the yearbook section of the school website. Students, ID cards are now available in the library before school, after school, and at lunch. New students get one ID for free, and students who lost their ID card can get a new one made for $5. Pay at the student store, then bring the receipt to the library to get an ID made. Hey, Wolf Pack, recently Chromebooks have been getting damaged. Here's a little informational video to help you out. And that's why people need to stop getting Zegas slicks in the bathroom. Come on, you don't think it's a little funny? No, I just want to wash my hands with soap. What's up, guys? What's for lunch today? Eric, you should really be more careful with your backpack. There could be something expensive in there. No way, it's fine. See, look. No, look. Oh! <gasps> you do know that's school property, right? You mean it's not mine to keep? Of course not. It's whatever. I'll just grab a new one. You can't just go grab a new one. She's right. It's going to cost you $400. $400? My mom's going to kill me. Good luck with that. Next time you should learn to take better care of your Chromebook. While in possession of a district-issued Chromebook, there are a few things to keep in mind. One of these things is that you should treat your Chromebook with the same care and respect that you would treat a textbook with. Are you wondering what not to do with your Chromebook? Here are a few tips. Do not draw or put stickers on your Chromebook. Do not physically damage it and keep food and liquids away from it at all times. Here are a few things that you should do with your Chromebook. Place it in a safe bag when transporting it. Log out and remember to power off after every use. And always keep it in a secure place. Remember, your Chromebook is just like a textbook. So if you lose or damage it, you are responsible. Remember to be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. Guys, hey Wolfpack, do you love competitions? Are you looking for ways to boost your college uh, resume? Or are you just looking for ways to involve in our campus activities? If you said yes to any of these questions, History Day is perfect for you. Come check out what History Day is all about at our info session on Thursday, October 14th at 3.30 in HN4. You can also talk to Ms. Dietrich in HN4 or send her an email. Hey Wolfpack, make sure to vote for Janiah Jackson for uh, the Girls Prep Sacramento Bee of the Week. Um, scan this QR code to vote for her. October 4th is the Senior Night Against Franklin, so bring your spirit and show support for our seniors. We hope to see you there. Now let's pass it on to Dylan and Paula for Pop. What's poppin' Wolfpack? I'm Dylan Brazier. And I'm Paula Cibulo. This is Pop, where we pop in and show you posts of the pack. Now let's check out Earl for the Week, Caden Cagle. Hey, I'm Caden, and I'm your Wolf of the Week. So I am the president of FCA, and I am the LPA commissioner this year in ASB. I gotta go with football games, because it's just fun. You go get some food. Normally, we have food trucks out there. Hang out with some friends and watch the games. It's a blast. My favorite class is probably A Push, um, just because of Mr. Garcia. Um, I really like Mr. Garcia, and I was like the only one in his class in hybrid, so like we got to just hang out. It was fun. I'm probably going across the country to play some lacrosse um, in North Carolina. That's my number one school for college, and yeah, I'm excited to get out there. Have you heard of the restaurant on the moon? Great food, no atmosphere. <laughs> Just kind of get out there, try different things around campus, join like a team or a club, but yeah, just try to get out there. Thanks, Kaden. Good luck with the rest of the year. If you want to be featured on next Friday's show, make sure to use our hashtag CHSWPTV. Now let's start over to Ms. Henderson. Hello, Wolfpack. As many of you may or may not know, I threw out a challenge to our teachers to write as many IMCO tickets as possible. So, what they get is this awesome spirit stick, woo, woo, and admin is going to cover each one of one period of their classes. So, in no particular order, but in third place is World Language with 224 tickets. Yes, so sorry, so sorry. I'm excited, I'm sorry. In second place. English with 771 tickets. Awesome, awesome, thank you. And in first place is Science 
with 1,252 wow. tickets. Woo! <laughs> Look for an email that says um, further directions of what we're going to be doing, and y'all keep those tickets flowing. Thank you. Well, well, fact, thanks for popping in with us. Back to the anchors. Guys, attention Wolfpack, if you're interested in joining men's soccer, there will be a meeting today at 3.30 p.m. at the tables outside of the cafeteria on the home side bleachers. To our freshmen out there, there will be a move, there will be moving on October 8th. We will be watching Spider-Man Far From Home. Check your emails and RSVP. Well, that's all we have for today, Wolfpack. I'm Josiah Edwards. And I'm Isabel Herman. Remember, the strength of the pack is the wolf. And the strength of the wolf is the pack. Have a fantastic Friday, Wolfpack. <laughs>